Hello stampers and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Sunday video. This is Laura Buechler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today I'm back with my annual challenge of making a Halloween themed project without ever buying any Halloween themed products. And this year I decided to make a little treat box to show you. This is a design that I cased from Wendy Lee, but I altered the measurements to fit this tiny little Kit Kat bar. You'll need three pieces of cardstock that are the same color. One piece that is three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. A second piece that is three and five eighths by two and a half. And a third piece that is three by one inch. Then you'll need some designer series paper that measures one and three eighths by two and a quarter and a piece of white cardstock, the same measurement. And finally, I've got some additional pieces for decoration. The medium sized piece is going to become a book. I'm going to score it at one and a half inches on each side. This piece will become the strap that holds the box closed. I'm going to score it at 7 eighths of an inch and at one and a half inches. And finally, this piece will be the candy box. I'm going to score this piece at 5 eighths and one and a quarter inches on all four sides. Burnish all the folds. Cut four slits as shown. Trim off the squares. Miter in on the remaining squares. Now it's easy to assemble the box. If I've done this correctly, I won't even need to use adhesive. Perfect. Now, before I put the other pieces together, I want to decorate them a bit. I'll add my designer series paper here to the front of the book. I'll stamp my sentiment on the white cardstock and attach that to the inside left of the book. And I'll add some spooky embellishment for Halloween. Now I can attach my box to the book. I'm going to use tear and tape for this as it is a strong adhesive for 3D projects. And finally, I can add the strap. Thank you. 
You can use Velcro or magnet for this. And there's my finished project. Because this is a 3D project, I can't send it to you in the mail, but I'd still love to give you a card as a prize for sharing this video. Leave a comment below to let me know that you've shared, and maybe I'll be sending you a special card in the mail. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific that you'd like to learn about, just ask. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, and the sign up for my email newsletter. And good news, in-person classes are back. You can sign up for virtual and in-person events on my website. If you do place an order, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code will get a free gift from me. And if you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, all you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me and we'll start planning your own online party. Drop me a line for more details. If you're watching this on YouTube, I invite you to join me on my Facebook page, Inky Fingers Paper Crafting. There are fun creative challenges and other opportunities to win cards from me every week. Have a great day everyone and happy stamping. Bye.